I am the engineer who loves to share all things in everywhere at all time and with everyone. As instructed by the nurse when we first arrived, we have to take our temperatures and report them to the nurse station two times per day. Meals are provided three times per day. And as part of daily routine, we will call down to the lobby and place our meal order for the next day. We will show you the dishes along with the name of the food we have sampled for the last five days. Since this is our second trip to Thailand, we're still exploring Thai food. We won't be able to give you the details other than the listed names on the menu. Stir fried minced pork and mushrooms with eggs and rice. Stir fried kale with rice. Both of these dishes rank quite high on our taste barometer. 7 out of 10. Grilled chicken with pepper sauce, grilled pork with rice. The grilled chicken is an excellent choice if you need a solid protein fix. The grilled pork tastes similar to the Chinese barbecue pork but without the red coloring. According to our taste barometer, these dishes are 6 out of 10. Banana on toast with maple syrup, bacon poached eggs served with toast and cherry tomato. Surprisingly, the low sodium bacon tasted quite nice. Our taste barometer ranked these two dishes 6 out of 10. On the left is the cheese omelets with wild rackets. You will find wild rackets in most spring mix salad in the States. The bacon protein egg is a peat. Our taste barometer ranked this dish 6 out of 10. Thai shrimp fried rice, Thai omelette with minced pork, along with Thai tea and mango frappe. Typically for lunch and dinner, 
you will get a drink, a salad, and a fruit. I said typically because with the exception of a drink, the salad and the fruit show up 50% of the time. Our taste barometer for this meal is 5 out of 10. The Thai tea is 10. Real chicken with jiao sauce or Thai dry chili dipping sauce. We taste sweet tamarind and lemongrass in the sauce. Our taste barometer ranked this dish 7 out of 10. Thai basil, minced pork served with sunny side up and rice. Stir fried kale with rice. Actually, this is a traditional Thai dish called Hot Club Hau. Our taste barometer ranked these two dishes 7 out of 10. croissant, ham and cheese, chicken, yakisoba. Anything you throw into a croissant will not fail a taste test. So we will not rank the croissant, ham and cheese. Our taste barometer rank the chicken, yakisoba, 5 out of 10. This soba is not even close compared to what we have tasted in Japan. World famous pad thai with chicken, garlic fried rice with bacon. Actually, I'm not big on pad thai due to its sweet flavor. However, my wife she loves it. The pad thai here does have its own personality. Some day it is good, and others it is not. Our consensus taste parameter is 6.5 out of 10 for these two dishes for today. One additional note. This, this is a lychee flavor drink garnished with rose petals. It is quite refreshing after a meal. At night, we drink it hot to help with digestion. The following clip demonstrates how our food is delivered three times a day. We are required to take three COVID tests within the 14 day stay at the quarantine hotel. This is our first COVID test two days after we have landed in Bangkok. Come in? No, All right. no, no, no. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, yes, ma'am. I guess they're gonna do uh, two or three of them at the same time. How are you? Since I'm not a professional, therefore I cannot tell which swap test is better. The swap test I got from me Lane Lab in Houston, or the one you are watching here in Bangkok. But one thing I know for sure, the one back at home was much better based on comfort. The nurse here in Bangkok stick it quite deep, so be prepared.
Oh, that's it? Mm. Oh, thank you. Well, oh, for 13, yes. Okay. Okay. The test result came back the next day and it was negative. Oh boy, that was tough.